this is uh, directly under my kitchen. It's hard to see here, but that's where the uh, water heater and my pressure tank and pumps all going to be housed in. Basically a pump house that I'm insulating. It's just going to allow me to keep my uh, water running in the winter. There we go. All insulated now. Might be hard to see, but I've finished the enclosure. Insulated it. It's got a door that flaps down here. Nice and snug. You can see in here a little bit. It's too dark. Anyway, there's one uh, filter, pump, heater. I'm gonna add two light bulbs in there that'll uh, hopefully gener generate enough heat to keep that whole thing warm. And we'll find out this winter if it actually works. It is well below freezing. It's about minus 14 Celsius. Here we are. Got about two feet of snow so far. And uh, we'll take a look under here. So this is under the cottage. We got minus uh, three and a half right now. Here's my lines. They're wrapped, and uh, I also have these, uh, these pipe wraps going up and down my lines. So everything's working great. If I open this up, take a look in here. Everything in here has been fantastic. Okay, so. There's my heat line that runs out to heat line that runs out to the well. It's on a thermostat, so until it drops to about three or four degrees, it doesn't even actually come on. When it does come on, it only heats the areas that are freezing. Um, that's my heat source in here, which I should turn off and on as I needed. And I also have a, you can see there, that's a block, I like a heater block for uh, putting on your uh, your car, keep the oil heated in the winter. Well, uh, I'm going to put that on a thermostat so the temperature ever drops below a set uh, temperature. It will come on and help heat uh, that box up in case those bulbs ever went out. I'll take you inside here and... Uh, show you uh, the running water so as you can see we have running hot and cold water we have a shower toilet all works the cottage is not actually insulated at all as you can see there's ice buildup on the glass and our only type of insulation I mean our only thing between outside and inside is wood same uh, it's about an inch thick absolutely no insulation I ran uh, this thermostat through the floor and it goes into the actual uh, box that contains the pump. So it lets me see the temperature in there at all times. Right now, I just had it open, it's sitting at almost 18 degrees. And this one just sits uh, under the cottage, closer to the exposed pipes. Let me know what the uh, temperature is under the cottage. And as you can see right now, it just says two. Just handy for me to keep an eye on temperature down there. This is difficult to see, but I wanted to show you how this whole system works. So I just got up here again, the cause is warmed up. So what I gotta do is I gotta come down here. I need to, these are the lines I use to drain the system. 
here. So I gotta shut these off. That one, and this one over here. I shut those off. And now I can prime my lines again. So there's my main water coming in right there. So I can turn that one on. It's gonna run water up through all these lines. So I can turn this on again. That's the one I gotta turn on. And then my hot water I can turn back on here. There we go. So water's just pumping up through all my lines. I gotta go upstairs and open everything back up to let the air out. And I should be good for uh, my water. Oh, the one other thing I do, I'll show you. So the one other thing I have to do is plug in these heat lines or heat wrap that wrap these pipes. Just because it's minus nine under here this time. I'm not gonna take any chances. I'll keep these guys warm. Make sure they don't freeze because that's my only exposed pipes. <laughs>